last video just cut me off at 10 minutes. So I'm going to finish this up. So here I see that I can join my three positive signs with three negative signs. When I join them, they're all going to end up canceling each other out into zero pairs. So basically I can just ignore all of those up there. And what am I left over with? I'm left over with negative three or three negative signs, which is the same thing as writing it like this, negative three. So I'm going to do the same thing. Now I'm going to do it with negative six subtracting a positive three. So let's start off with our negative six. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's my six negative signs. And now it says I need to take away three positive signs, which I can't do. I don't have any positive, positive signs in this, in this bunch here. So what I need to do is I need to, again, use the technique of adding in some zero pairs to the pile. So that way I can obtain some positive signs. I'm going to need a total of three of these zero pairs. And now that I have three zero pairs, I do see indeed three positive signs. And now, so that I go back to the problem and read it, I start off with six uh, negative signs, and I have to subtract three positive signs. So here's my positive signs. I'm going to subtract these, take them away, and then I'm going to look at see what I have left over. And what I have left over is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And here I have negative nine um, as my answer because I have nine negative signs left over. 